There's a lot of details that go into the planning of this, the choreography, the timing, the pilot not messing up. We had a headset on with Catherine that was up in the room holding the door for us. Once we flew through, she jet to the closet. When we were coming out through the balcony, we queued the bikes on the walkie-talkies. And then we had the truck chase the drone all the way to the pool. We didn't have anyone blocking traffic, no roads were closed. It is a private community that's gated, but still you might have a couple cars that pull out at certain times and maybe even a fire truck. But then when we got to do it again, it's just like, oh man, like maybe if we had a better drone pilot, we wouldn't have to do so many takes. Now it is a little disorienting when you're sitting in the truck, seeing something different than what you're feeling. Once we knocked that out, we went over to the beach club to reset for the second half. The challenge with this video was the distance. It was a really long flight path all the way around out to the Gulf and back through the beach club. So we had to come up with a creative transition to cut it in half. I did a little challenge to see if anyone could spot us hiding. Luke Osley, you got it. Paid him 20 bucks on Venmo. We also did a pass-through window sequence that Jonathan did the visual effects for, and he did a great job. Hey babe, ready to go to the beach club? Yeah, let's go. Once you add the transition, editing, sound design, the weather cooperated, I think it all came together. 